Okay, listen to this. One of the ways the Obama administration is marking Martin Luther King holiday is a promotional push for Obamacare. HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius issued a statement urging people to sign up as we, quote, celebrate the inspirational life of Dr. King. A New York City pastor calling that push insulting to Martin Luther King Jr.'s memory. Reverend Michael Faulkner joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Always a pleasure to have you. Why do you find that insulting, sir, that uh, they use the Martin Luther King to help push out Obamacare? I, I find it insulting because they take bad legislation and they're trying to use the memory, the good memory and the wonderful legacy of Dr. King and how he achieved what he was able to achieve through the civil rights movement, through his life and his legacy, his writings and all that he stood for to cover up the horrible government fiasco known as the Affordable Health Care Act because it is not affordable and it doesn't promote health. And in terms of um, in the community, I know that you work in Harlem. Um, I mean, how has Obamacare impacted your community, members of your congregation? It, it really hasn't, uh, to be honest with you, because it, it really has not addressed any new issues. Uh, the, there have in New York State, we have always had a health care program that truly looked out for the marginalized and the poor. However, the, 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 uh, the Affordable Health Care Act was supposed to address issues like prevention. It does not. It does not level the playing field. It does not help people to get healthier. It just simply shifts the payment of the bill to someone else. And, and it, it supposedly guarantees affordable health care for everyone. And it really does not because the health care costs are continuing to skyrocket. And we are going to reach a point in time in this country when we are no longer going going to be able to afford these sicknesses. We need to address health in a way that promotes health and not simply pays for sickness. Uh, Reverend, let me ask you another mm -hmm. question, too. It's about comments that President Obama made to the New Yorker magazine. The president reportedly saying, there's no doubt that some folks who just really dislike me because they don't like the idea of a black president. Now, the flip side of it is there are some black folks and maybe some white folks who really like me and give me the benefit of the doubt precisely because I'm a black president. Reverend, your thoughts on the president's comments? He is the president of the, these United States of America. Black, white, whatever. We elected him and twice. So he's got a job to do black, white, whatever, and sure, there's some people that don't like him because he's black, and there's some people that are going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's black. So what? Do your job, Mr. President. We elected you to do a job. We didn't elect you because you were black. We elected you because the majority of Americans believed that the content of your character was beyond the color of your skin. And now for you to bring up skin color in this, in this day and age, I've been black all my life. I've been dealing with that all my life. We do that. That is what we do. We have to be comfortable in who we are. Not saying that the comments said that Mr. Obama is not comfortable in who he is. However, he is the president of the United States. I don't expect the president to say those things or to at least say them out loud so people can hear them. I mean, he's the president. You know he's got a job you know, to do. In listening to it, though, I sort of thought, you know, I, that he was sort of just sort of thinking out loud in a sense, if there were a woman president, I think a woman would say that women vote for me. A lot of women vote for me because I'm a woman. And a lot of people don't like me because I'm a woman. I mean, I actually, I, I'm, I'm not so sure he wasn't just sort of talking, you know, about the different, you know, sort of realities of, of how people vote. And, and you could substitute black for woman or for anything. I, I actually, I'm the only one who's not critical. I mean, I'm, I'm one of the few who isn't critical about him in today's discussion on this. Well, it, you know, I, I mean, uh, that certainly could be the context of it, uh, Greta. And, and certainly I don't think that he was, you know, uh, necessarily crying in his Cheerios about the, you know, about what was going on. But I do think it is important for us to focus, uh, for him to focus on the fact that Americans right now are expecting him to get himself together, get that administration and together, and move us forward as a nation. I agreed. We've got, to get, we've got to get off the race thing, which can be so dividing amongst us and sort of work forward for the entire country. Absolutely. Reverend Absolutely. And always, always nice to see you, Reverend. It is, it is wonderful to see you, Greta. And we, you know, just one more thing about the about the uh, the health care bill. We really do need to focus on prevention. That is one of the things that this nation has not done. We haven't addressed it. We need to address it. We've been addressing Agreed. it in, in through community efforts, and we need to do more of that. Thank you, sir. Okay. God bless.